In case you missed it, One Piece is getting a makeover. It was announced in late 2023 that the popular manga series One Piece is being reanimated by Netflix in partnership with WIT Studios titled The One Piece. And this initial announcement was met with overwhelming positive reaction from fans, excitement centering around the idea of a newer, modern style of animation with more appropriate pacing. And since that announcement, as part of the One Piece Day celebrations for 2024, fans have been recently gifted with a behind the scenes promotional video from the One Piece team. This promo including a roundtable discussion between key figures who are producing the new series, footage of still shots and visuals from the production materials such as character design, setting design, as well as a 3D map of the One Piece world that was used to help the production team better understand the world, the intricate setting of the One Piece universe, as well as an interview between the animation producer Ryuta Koike of Toei, the company that is currently producing the anime for One Piece, and George Wada, the president of Wit Studios. Wit Studios is probably best known for anime hits like Spy Family, the studio being responsible for the first season of Vinland Saga and the earlier seasons of the Attack on Titan series, all of which have been praised for their brilliant animation style. And before we go through this promo video in greater detail, if you'd like more frequent updates on the One Piece or other big news like this, or just to hear my thoughts on the latest One Piece developments, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so that you and I can keep discussing One Piece together. So the first thing that we have to mention is the art style. So based on the illustrations that we've seen in this video, I have to say the art style feels very nostalgic. It hits the tone of very early One Piece, the Romance Dawn Saga era. If you are a current watcher of the One Piece anime, in tone, it's somewhat similar to the first few episodes of the Egghead Island again, which was much more whimsical and romantic, much more nostalgic. The stills that we see in this video doubles down on that whimsical note. And it matches the art cover that's been used so far, which is a rougher, simpler drawing. And again, it just very much matches that earlier art style of One Piece in the manga. Kyoji Asano-san, the chief animation director for character designs, he mentioned that he shut himself in for two months. He shut himself in while trying to recreate Oda's design style, which is very evident in the shots that we see of some of these drawings and storyboards because again it does feel very similar to that original One Piece style. And that's actually something that was mentioned quite a bit in this promo video, especially during the round table, this idea that they really wanted to keep the essence of One Piece and the essence of Oda's style, the core of One Piece. There were also some jokes being made about how this idea of shutting yourself in and just focusing on work is actually very Oda-esque. But anyways, I think it's actually worth remembering that these visuals, these illustrations that we're seeing in the video, they're not actually polished, finished products. This promo video is after all a behind the scenes footage and a promotional video centering around the production and pre-production of the One Piece. Meaning that much of the storyboards, these character designs, these illustrations, they're just concept arts, much more than actually being a released visual of what the series will actually look like. It's not a trailer video by any means. Meaning that the finished series won't actually or might not actually look like a lot of the illustrations that we've seen in this video. Otherwise, I would have said that this classic nostalgic art style was feels quite surprising and unexpected to come out of wit. Like I said, this studio is probably most well known for recent works like Attack on Titan and Spy Family. And these anime typically feature a much more modern style of animation that has characterized that post 2010 era of animes. But I will say that in certain shots, not all shots, but in certain shots, the background, especially the landscape like the sea and oceanscapes, those feel somewhat more reminiscent of the Attack on Titan style, almost like that super realistic sea and oceanscapes, whereas the characters in the foreground, they feel very classic One Piece. Personally for me, I actually really like this unpolished, whimsical art style, and I wouldn't even have a problem if this is what they use for the anime. I've never had a problem with the original One Piece art styles. I've always thought it was very unique and enjoyed it in that right. My main main issue with the Toei anime has primarily been to do with pacing and even then I didn't see that much of an issue in the earlier arcs. But that being said, I do know of others who have initially found this distinct art style of Oda's and of One Piece somewhat of a barrier to get into the series. But according to the director, he mentioned that Oda-san told him rather than simply recreating and redrawing One Piece, rather than trying to recreate a panel out of the manga, that he wants this this 
team to express their interpretation of the series. He said along the lines, I'd like you to express your interpretation and come up with something, you know, unique and distinct. So it'll be interesting to see what that actually looks like when we finally do get a trailer or when we do get some visuals of the finished product and not of this pre-production or the production stage. It was also mentioned during this discussion that Oda's art style has also changed throughout the years. And I imagine that change and that evolution might also be something that is reflected in the later seasons of this, the One Piece remake, if we're lucky to get extra seasons. Anyways, I think we can trust that this project is in good hands. Watching this video, I feel very confident that there is a lot of attention and focus and dedication going in to make sure that this animation is done right. So the four figures that were a part of this roundtable and seem to be leading the production for the One Piece are the animation producer, Ryoma Kawamura-san, chief animation director of character design, Kyoji Asano-san, the director, Masashi Kozuka-san, and board member of WIT Studios, Tetsuya Nakatake-san. And between the four of them, they've produced Attack on Titan, Spy Family, Moonrise, and Kabaneri of the Iron Fortress. And listening to their conversations, you can really tell the amount of work going in to make sure One Piece is done justice. Something that was emphasized quite a bit during this video and something I found interesting was that this team made sure that they were hiring younger people or assembling younger people, people in their 20s to 30s as they put it. That was mentioned a couple of times throughout this video and the reasoning behind that was that they wanted people who have been watching One Piece from a young age, people who still love One Piece, people who have that passion and drive, those people being able to let their fondness and passion for the series shine through in their work for this remake. I feel this decision also reflects their main intent behind producing this series. We can assume that Netflix approached with studios to do this with the idea of getting in new fans, finding new audiences to fall in love with the series, in particular younger fans potentially, people of the new generation to fall in love with this long-running series One Piece, or those who are new to the anime genre, in particular fans of One Piece who may have fallen in love with the One Piece live action, so people who would be now interested in consuming a new medium and is appropriate for the modern age. When I said that they are really dedicated in doing this series right, I really meant it. There are people dedicated to all such specific tasks. Each staff member seemed to have their own unique area of focus. We've got some people just practicing on the original artwork, others on the storyboard. We've got people just creating items and objects that you see in the manga series, or even rooms and things that you don't necessarily see in the original manga. There's an incredibly detailed visual image of the bathroom, for example. You also see some people researching French cuisine because of the Sanji and Baratie connection, or playing with a life-size katana to better understand Zoro's use of swords. And getting a look at this intensive pre-production process actually made me realize things that I never picked up before about the series. For example, they point out that Makino cooks small portions, but in large volumes and large quantities, which in retrospect, I interpret that as being a very Japanese izakaya style of eating, where food is supposed to be enjoyed sort of as a side, like snacks to accompany the drinking, which obviously makes sense, this being set in a bar. But you also see things like just one person drawing clouds constantly, which is an aspect that I don't necessarily always think too much about. And I guess it just goes to show you take a lot of these small details for granted. So it's lovely to see the amount of work going in to focus on the most minute of details because they really want to capture the essence of One Piece. The words they use is that they want to bring everything to life. They want to bring the series to life, even details that aren't really highlighted in the manga. And that's obviously a very tall task because especially as the series goes on, Oda's panels become super cluttered with lots of details in the background. So I really can't wait to see how they bring this to life and how they take this on. But what we have seen so far looks very promising. Now, although these aren't official visuals from what we have seen, it seems like this anime or this version of the anime won't be censored or at least it won't be as censored. And I say this because there's an illustration of a scene from Baratie where Sanji is holding up full body and full body is bleeding here. I mean bleeding. So the potential to see a much closer depiction of the manga in the anime with less censorship, the more raw and rougher side of the manga, that is very exciting for fans. I don't know how much of the series they'll get to animate, but imagine the later arcs like the Marineford arc 
Park, for example. Seeing that in its full glory with all the blood, all the gore, I think that's very exciting. But we can obviously also expect changes. Like I said, not only did the director say that Oda explicitly said that he wanted them to bring about their own identity and express their own identity. The director Masashi Kozuka also said that although he wants to keep the core critical themes and ideas and he wants to reflect the core of the manga, he did also say there will have to be some differences when it comes to the details and he wants the reanimation, he wants this remake to have its own identity. So while it hasn't been confirmed whether the One Piece will be a weekly anime like the Toei's version or whether it will be a seasonal anime and I think most of us are anticipating or at least hoping for it to be the latter because that's how we can expect the pacing issue of the current anime to be addressed. So if it will be a seasonal anime it makes sense as to why there would have to be quite a few changes from the manga or even the original anime because there is going to have to be some work to condense the series into a much smaller number of episodes. It's similar to how we saw the changes in the One Piece live action. I think we can all agree that the One Piece live action very much kept the essence of One Piece and kept the core of One Piece but then still took liberty to create its own work to change the storyline a little bit or play around with the order a little bit to make it its own unique work and make the story work for the live action series. Based on the video it isn't clearly expressed how many of the arcs they'll have a chance to recreate. What I gathered was that they're gonna start with Romance Dawn and then the question of how many other arcs they'll have a chance to work on, that seems to depend on how well this series is received. So that likely confirms our hopes or our expectations that this will be a seasonal anime. I think we can assume that the first season will focus on Romance Dawn and then if the first season is well received then they'll continue remaking the series and remaking the later arcs. Like I mentioned, we also saw a conversation between representatives from Toei and Wit and I'm glad that this was addressed. Toei is still animating One Piece on a practically weekly schedule and One Piece as a manga is a series that isn't finished yet. We're only at the beginning of the final saga and I think that's why when this initial announcement was made in 2023, I think this came as a big surprise to a lot of fans. We weren't expecting the One Piece animation to be remade so soon and I think many people were questioning how or why they would reanimate a series at this point in time when the original anime is still ongoing. Ryuta Koike-san from Toei himself admitted that this process of reanimating a series that is still ongoing and still exists, that's never been done before. And I think if we want to be realists and a touch cynical, we'd say that this is a cash cow operation and Netflix is really getting in on the One Piece craze because One Piece is such a popular series now and generates a lot of money, I think. And I'm not going to mention any of that because I'm just so glad that this is happening. And I think it's very well timed. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a great way to bring in new fans who have fallen in love with the One Piece live action or who have fallen in love with One Piece because of the One Piece live action or even even just to target the new generation of anime watchers. You know, the younger generation who are much more used to a faster, much more dynamic style of animation than that was produced by Toei all those years ago. Or even if not a younger generation, I think in recent years there's been a boom in anime culture. And anime isn't so much a niche as it used to be, meaning that there has been in general an influx of new anime fans. So I think it's great to be producing the One Piece so that this series can be appreciated by all the new anime watchers. I'm sure having a newly animated series that has a much better, much more modern style of pacing and a series that isn't already 1000 plus episodes in, I'm sure that would be a lot less daunting for new fans than having to watch the existing anime series. And to that end, it's great to see this conversation between Toei and Wit because it's good to see the good relationship between the two companies and this idea that they're both working towards this common goal of spreading the good news of One Piece, spreading the joy and the shared love for the series. Anyways, I would highly recommend you all to go watch this video. The full video is up on YouTube. It's well worth watching the full conversation between the directors, the animators, the production team, as well as getting to see those still shots, those images and the 3D world map for yourself. Apart from it being informative, I actually found it quite entertaining as well. And on that note, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who is involved in this project. Thank you for bringing another iteration of One Piece, a series that is so loved by so many, into our lives. Best wishes because I can't wait
wait. I genuinely am so excited to watch this remake. Now, it hasn't been announced when this series will actually be released or as to when we'll actually get to see a teaser trailer or any of the visuals. So I'll be keeping my ear to the ground to hear of any updates. And if you'd like to continue being updated, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. Click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything that's going on. If you've liked the information you found out today, make sure to like this video. Please comment your thoughts and whether you're excited for this remake. If you'd like to support this channel further, you can become a Patreon or channel member. And I want to say thank you to all of our lovely channel and Patreon members for your continued support. This is Joy Girl and I'll see you again soon.